Welcome to Legendary Cuts, as you can see. And I am Dominic Techniques, also known as Dante Rice. And I'm gonna be real quick. We're gonna do, I have a bunch of liners. I've been in the industry for quite some time. But I wanted to start doing a few videos on things like, you know, proper clip of maintenance, proper liners, preferences, uh, blades, what type of blades are there, what type of cords, uh, just a bunch of different, there's so many different options for everybody out here today. So today we're just gonna do a basic class, like I say, on liners. And I just copped this new one minute blade modifier that everybody's talking about. It's kind of hot right now. And I just want to check it out and see how it does. Uh, I actually have modified uh, one of my blades so far and I was very pleased with it. I actually did one of my ProMate blades here on my uh, my Andes Outliners, and you could actually see. Let's see if I could turn it. Where you could, uh, okay, see how you can see the white line across the top when I rotate it, because it's actually a gold clipper. So that's how you know for a fact that it's been done. But anyway, we've done it. So I'm gonna do it real quick, just to show you. It only takes 60 seconds. They say about 30 to 60 for most. Um, and I typically do, they say do it 30, take it off, check it, and uh, like I say, pretty simple, pretty cool. So real quick, just need a screwdriver, and most line is all the same. So I'm going to actually use my traditional blade, uh, traditional liner uh, blade, and that's the Andes Outliner one, and we're just going to simply, these two screws are how you break it down, so we're going to break this down here really quick. Real quick, quick, quick. It's one. Take the other one out, two. And these are actually some some liners that you probably won't ever be able to get again. And I've I've been privy to quite a few clippers and blades here uh, in the past, and even still now to this day, you know, uh, I had some, um, you know. I've had quite a few, so prototypes, used them, all type of things. So we are going to move right in. So took that blade off real quick, took it right off the screws, the hinges. They pretty much all the same. This is actually, like I say, this is the Pro Make liner. I really like them. Really good power. Really good power. Uh, so anyway, moving into the blade, I'm going to take here the moving blade off. Set that to the side. I'm gonna get this one started here. And what you want, the one that has the label or the actual whatever uh, company it is, that is the one here where it says blade brand logo on this side. Braid blade brand logo on this side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide in through the edge. So if this is the blade brand on this side, it says it here. So I'm gonna slide it in, and they actually want you to hold it flat. So I'm gonna attempt to slide this up. Uh, I don't know if you can still see it, but I'm gonna do it. So I'll slide it up here, I'm gonna slide this through. They say slide it through. Oh, almost forgot. Need one drop of oil. Of course, this is metal. We put one drop of oil right in there, right in the center, as you can see it. You see it right there. So we're gonna slide this in now. Slide it straight in, boom. So now, I'm gonna just hold it up so you can see. See, so it's straight in, you want it completely perpendicular. Okay, you don't want it off to the sides, so you want it completely perpendicular. So now that, I now that I have it locked in, I'm gonna just slide it back and forth. For about, mm, we're gonna go with about 30 seconds. And like I said, you wanna keep it straight up and down much as possible and you should check your blade I would say the first 20 to 30 seconds it's been about 30 so we're gonna take it out I'm just gonna look at it it did a little bit I'm gonna go a little more Let's see if you guys can see that can you see it There you go. So, we're gonna do it another 30 seconds. Remember the logo facing. 
I'm gonna slide in through the side and go back and forth again. Go another 30. And be careful to try to maintain straight across as much as possible. Light pressure doesn't have to be heavy. And try to make sure you go straight across as much as possible. And three, two, and one. So, let's check the blade out again. All right, it has definitely been uh, filed down. It's a slight bevel on there. Let's see if I can get it at the right angle so you guys can catch it. It's kind of hard to see. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, you can kind of see it there. So it's kind of nice. And let's see. And of course, you always have to set it. You have these two screws that's gonna slide down this, this polymer plastic piece. This is actually what lines up your moving blade because you have this hinge here, right here, that it sits on, right? So that's what we wanna do. We wanna sit on there, but I already set these. So, but again, if you want to see it done, it's real simple. You just pop these two, you unscrew them. And you can slide that piece up and down and screw it back down. And typically what I do, I will actually set the uh, set this on so I already know how it how it's gonna look. And then I can slide it up and down. So here we go. Right now, when I look at it down the barrel, it's actually looking pretty good. I might want to move it up a little, but you don't want to overlap, and that's one thing a lot of guys do. Then I have the blade overlap. But you don't want it to overlap. You want to cut clean uh, and without any injury to the client. So um, I think we have a good deal. And if it isn't, we can always take it off and put it back on. So I think we, we're done. So that's really about it. Take it off. We're going to test it really quick. See, I'm trying to get this on as fast as possible. Since we're recording this live, there won't be any effects or anything like that. So we're just going straight in. And uh, if you have any questions or any videos you would like to see, I want to make sure we're getting everything that you need uh, as a viewer. And, you know, we do videos from novice all the way up to advanced and to those who are in different forms of uh, mastery, we'll call it. But uh, we have uh, quite a few things that uh, we like to share uh, that we've learned through our experience. Um, we're located in Chicago and... Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. That looks good. I'm talking about good. Okay, so we are going to try it out and see if it's as good as we think it is. And um, let's see. Let's see here. Make sure that's screwed all the way down. So we're just screwing them back down. Nothing major. All right. Oh, they're not plugged up. So let's plug them up really quick. And if you're ever in Chicago, come stop by and visit us. We're at 1405 West 111th Street in Chicago, Illinois. And let's see here if I can get it in. Okay, cool. So the beauty of these two this ProMate blade, or actually the Precisioner as it's called, the ProMate Clipper. You know how people modify it and cut that piece off? All you have to do is take this front piece off and they're already modified. Nice, right? So, let's see. Oh man, that looks good. Let's see how they do. So, I'm gonna call up my man. We're gonna actually be doing classes on this too soon. On the man weeds, as they like to call it. 
I like it more professional because the guys don't like to be sounding like they got a weave. I call it, you know, a unit. Um, so let's call it, you know, that's something we call it the unit. So anyway, we're going to bring my boy over here. He just got his. So we're going to see how well these work. So let's see. And you can tell by the sound off the back. Ah, oh, they sound good, and it looks good. Oh yeah. What you think? What you think? Let's see here. Let's see this part. Let's see if we can clean that up. Let's see. Oh man, these are hitters. They're hitters. So, again. Just quick class, how to put the blade on. I've done several of mine. I haven't been let down by it. That's just my personal review of the product. Um, so, to I believe it is uh, Rich Barber, uh, legendary salute. You get two crowns up for this. It's uh, one or two crowns, you get two. And great innovation. Uh, and Again, I, I cannot complain. I, that's my second blade that I've done and it's worked off the back. The first one was actually a ProMate blade. The second one was the OEM blade for Andis T-Outliner um, blades. So if you have any questions, contact me at uh, legendarycutsinc.com or the best way to contact me is probably at dominant underscore techniques. That's on Instagram. And uh, hey, that's it. Don't be ordinary, be legendary.